Devri Hayamim Shani. 2 Chronicles 16. In the sixth and thirtieth year of the reign of Acha Basha, king of Yashadael, came up against Yahuda and built Eth Ramah to the intent that he might let none go out or come in to Acha, king of Yahuda. Then Acha brought out silver and gold out of the treasures of the house of Yahuwah and of the king's house and sent to Bain Hadad, king of Aram, that dwelt at Damascus, saying, There is a league between me and you, and there was between, rather, as there was between my father and your father. Behold, I have sent to you silver and gold. Go break your league with Eth Basha, king of Yashadael, that he may depart from me. And Bain Hadad hearkened unto King Acha, and sent Eth the captains of his armies against the cities of Yashadael, and they smote Eth Leon, rather Ion, and Eth Dan, and Eth Evel Maim and at all the store cities of Naphtali. And it came to pass, when Basha heard it, that he left off building of Ethrama, and Eth let his work cease. Then Acha the king took Eth all Yahuda, and they carried away Eth the stones of Rama, and Eth the timber thereof, wherewith Basha was building. And he built therewith Eth Giva, and at Mitzpah. And at that time Hanani, the seer, came to Acha, king of Yahuda, and said unto him, Because you have relied on the king of Aram, not relied on Yahuwah Eloheka, therefore is the host of the king of Aram escaped out of your hand. Were not the Kushim and the Levim a huge host, with very many chariots and horsemen. Yet because you did rely on Yahweh, he delivered them into your hand. For the eyes of Yahweh run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein you have done foolishly, Therefore, from henceforth, you shall have wars. Then Acha was wroth with the seer and put him in a prison house, for he was in a rage with him because of this thing. And Acha oppressed some of the people at the same time. And behold, the acts of Acha, first and last, lo, they are written in the Sefer, of the kings of Yahuda and Yashareel, and Acha, in the thirty and ninth year of his reign, was diseased in his feet, until his disease was exceeding great. Yet, in his disease, he sought not to Eth Yahuwah, but to the physicians. And Acha slept with his fathers died in the one and fortieth year of his reign. And they buried him in his own sepulchres, which he had made for himself in the city of David, and laid him in the bed, which was filled with sweet odors and diverse kinds of spices, prepared by the apothecary's art. And they made a very great burning for him.